Remember when like libs of TikTok, Jordan Peterson, and etc. got really pissed at me for saying as a criminal law professor, I feel compelled to tell you to be gay do crimes on my TikTok. Well, guess what I did about it? Oh yeah, I got a be gay do crimes tattoo about it. That's what I did about it. If they thought that was gonna get me to back down, they know nothing at all about me. No, 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 no. Their hatred just makes me be gay and do crime even harder, including by now having a permanent be gay do crimes tattoo on my arm. Ah, uh, yes, that that sure showed them. Welcome back to another episode of Society is Screwed, and it's clips like these that make me think maybe as a society we're not on the best path right now. You know, because if you study criminal law, maybe you shouldn't be advocating for doing crimes. I'm not really sure how being gay has anything to do with that. I can't imagine that adding the gay part to the crime makes the crime any better. I think this next clip adequately represents how I feel about the introductory clip. <laughs> oh man, you know, I relate a lot with this woman. I think we all can relate to this woman right here. Y'all need Jesus. If you're curious if she was doing it for herself or for the people in the clip, it's both. She's praying for them and she's asking the Lord for strength to get through that excruciatingly painful moment. You think you just fell out of a coconut tree? <laughs> You exist in the context of all in which you live and what came before you. Kamala Harris is an absolute quack of a vice president and a quack of a person. And no, I don't think I just came out of a coconut tree, if you're curious. If anything, the stork dropped me in the cherry tree, okay? I'm going to try to get through this. Um, thank you for what you did three years ago today. Um, please tell me your thoughts um, on this third anniversary. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so everybody knows that MSNBC is a complete joke, but having a grown man cry on live television in regards to January 6th is absolutely the most pathetic thing I've ever seen in my entire life. Do you think they slipped him the tissue beforehand? I mean, there's no way this is real. There's abs I mean, maybe he's soft enough to cry over this. I could see that, okay? I'm not delegitimizing the possibility of that happening. But no way. It's more likely that somebody's crying over January 6th because it's Three Kings Day, not because it's the three-year anniversary of January 6th, the, the worst day in American history. Yeah, no, that's not happening. And if it is happening, you need to reflect. Maybe stop taking all those dang pills you take every day. And just to reiterate and really hone in on this, MSNBC is allegedly a legitimate news source where a grown man cries about January 6th being the worst day in history. Yeah, I'm racist because I'm a white person. And I think all white people are racist. We have just been put into this system designed to empower our white privilege. As a white person, I am super racist. Yeah, no, you're not racist just because you're a white person. You're not racist because of the color of your skin. It's not, it's not how racism works. This clip is an adequate depiction of how much people have been brainwashed by our media, by the education system, and just by society in general. If you think that being white automatically makes you racist, you're a fry short of a Happy Meal. In fact, you might be the whole Happy Meal. This is why people are starting to push back against woke ideology, because there's no foundation of logic. Right. Oh, this is against the law. Yeah. There you go. Get away from my car. Bro. 
Get away from my car. I have a daughter in Brooklyn. Don't touch him. Get in your car. The man's just trying to go see his daughter. Get him over. Get him over. Don't touch him. The Palestinian protesters. What? Get home. My least favorite people on the planet. Standing in the middle of the road is only going to upset people more. I don't know why people continue to do it. It makes me dislike the Palestinian protesters even more than I previously did, which I didn't think was possible. Now look, if you want to go peacefully protest in front of a government building, go right ahead. But get out of the road. Your problem is not everybody else's problem, okay? I like this guy in the video. This guy, he's got moxie. The things that yeah. keep me up because you, you don't have control over them mm -hmm. and you wonder where are people, where are we in this? You know, where are our hearts? What's gonna happen in this next election? I am terrified about what could possibly happen because our leaders matter. Who we select, who speaks for us, who holds that bully pulpit, it affects us in ways that I, sometimes I think people take for granted. She's terrified about what could happen. This is, well, one, typical fear-mongering from the left, and the right does it too sometimes. Everybody in politics fear-mongers sometimes, but the left especially loves to fear-monger. Michelle Obama saying, I lay awake at night, terrified that the Republicans might win the election. She's terrified of what Donald Trump might do. But what she's really terrified of is her voting base waking up to realizing that the Democrats aren't really helping the average American citizen. The empathy and race card are all just masks to stay in power. Their policies are legitimately hurting everyday Americans. Ask the average American how life has been over the last four years. And see, how many of them say, oh, it's been fantastic, it's been on the up and up. Lawlessness, debauchery, a lack of education, a lack of logic, sexual deviance. I mean, the list goes on and on. So yeah, if I was Michelle Obama, I'd be terrified too. Terrified of the fact that the people in America are waking up to the fact that politicians in general are relatively corrupt. And the message that her, her husband, and the entire Democratic Party has been spewing for the last several years, well, decades at this point, is absolute nonsense. What are your thoughts on the current state of our society? Are we screwed? Let me know in the comments. My name is Beans. Thank you for watching The Daily Beans. Have a blessed day.